Wow. Thank you very much. I'm really very excited to be here. And um, before I start, I would like to ask you a very basic question. Who here has a bank account? Hands up, please. Wow, great. Everyone as I expected, of course. And I do have a bank account too. I'm not trying to brag, but I also have a mortgage, two credit cards, and one saving account with UK banks. But less than 10 years ago, I was completely excluded from the banking system. Not even one UK bank would take a chance on me. And I'm not the only person, of course. There are more than 1.7 billion people around the world at the moment completely excluded from the banking system without access to even basic bank account. In the UK alone here, it's more than, it's more than 1.6 million. So I'm not here to blame banks or point fingers at banks. It's not their fault. Financial exclusion has, it's a system that has been proven to be, to, to, not to recognize potential in people. And um, so I arrived in the UK in 2009 with big dreams. I had an offer from a UK university and plans to get a part-time job to fund my studies. But, after filing, but even after filling in the long exhausting application forms for a, for a current account with every UK bank, I couldn't get an account. My university fees were due, I had an offer, I had a job offer which wanted to pay me, I, found a room to, I had found a room to rent which required a deposit, but I couldn't do any of it. So I'm not telling you this so you feel sorry for me, no, I'm telling you because it's very important to understand how hard it can be to be included even in one of the most advanced economy in the world, and how even simple things are impossible when you don't have a bank account. But why couldn't I have a bank account? Well, because I didn't have three years at this history in the UK. That's why banks didn't trust me. And uh, a bank work with customers they trust. They use mechanism like uh, credit scoring or uh, address history to decide if you are trustworthy. And that's fair enough. Trust is the foundation of human innovation. We can't achieve anything unless we trust one another. But we really need to find a new way to trust one another saying, I know where you live, maybe good enough for the mafia, but banks could, be be could do better. So, so, but th so the system isn't perfect, uh, but for a long time it was the best we could do. And now uh, the World Bank estimates, and now things are getting better of course, the World Bank estimates that 1.2 billion people around the world at the moment have opened their bank accounts since 2011. And, uh, but there is still a long way to go. Increased bank account ownership, it's not really everything. It's not the full image. What's the point of having a bank account if you don't have an income? What's the point of having a payment system if the fee is more than the amount you are sending? So imagine owning an iPhone, which is this one of course. <laughs> and uh, this iPhone can't connect, can't connect to the internet or for example, uh, can't access App Store or even you can't send a text message. So all that you can do, maybe you can take photos. Well, that's a very beautiful piece of tech, but it's completely useless. Um, so this is the state of financial inclusion in many parts of the world at the moment. It's disconnected. So, so if financial exclusion was easy to resolve, someone ha has already managed it. Deep financial inclusion is not easy to resolve, and it requires collaboration with central banks. So, issuing new central bank digital currency can help boost the local economies by reducing the cost of doing business, <coughs> enable people to innovate, introducing new business models, and of course, uh, and central bank digital currency issuance, of course, which is CBDC, can provide huge benefit to the local economy. And um, uh, by reducing, of course, and uh, so, so I see financial inclusion as a huge opportunity. I see huge potential in people. I believe in you, and I believe you can change the world. So my mission with BAB is to harness the power of uh, inclusion and connectivity, and use that power to light up communities around the world. At BAB, 
We believe banking should be inclusive, fair, and globally connected. It hasn't always been that way, but the world is now in the unique position to make it happen for the first time. Everyone should have access to banking services, regardless of their level of income, background, or nationality. It's a simple idea, but has huge implications in all of us sitting here tonight. So I will give you some of the uh, history. The first ever coin was minted almost 3,000 years ago. And before that, trade was done using a bartering system. I will give you this cow if you give me three of your sheep. In fact, the world salary has its origins from the Roman army, which paid the soldiers with salt. And that was really a very useful resource at the time. So money is, is, has been always a middleman. Uh, it's, a, it's an imperfect solution for, to a common problem. But with the advance of, block, of blockchain technology, we have come full circle, back to bartering. And we are in our way to use a new bartering system in everyday life. Now we can tokenize and exchange any asset. And we are, <clears throat> now we can tokenize and exchange any asset. So for example, art is, is an asset. And right now you can go online and use one of the several blockchain technologies to buy, a share, to buy a share of your favorite painting. Data is an asset. And maybe in the future you will be able to charge third parties who want to access your personal data. And maybe in a few years from now we will be able to, to do a direct, direct swap. You, you offer you to, your tokenized data in exchange of tokenized art. So the modern blockchain technology moves beyond money. It's about pure value exchange. And the connected bank account based blockchain could be the portal to creating value and generating income. So it's all very exciting. I have been immersed in, this, in, in the blockchain industry for the past few years. But I really realized that we are looking at the problem upside down. We cannot, financial exclusion can't be solved just by giving people access to an outdated system that doesn't work in their interest. Connectivity is the only route to true inclusion. We will only achieve full financial inclusion with equal access for all by creating new connected networks based on trust, based on trust and focus in achieving deep financial inclusion and enable through exchange of value. So blockchain technology is the technology blockchain technology is Blockchain is the technology that can help pave the way to the new world. This is the decentralized technology which, can, which makes it all possible. How? Well, firstly, blockchain allows individuals like you and me and businesses to interact with each other without middlemen, which, enab which enable us to create new connected network based in trust. And secondly, it makes banking accessible for everyone in the world if you have access to internet which enable us to uh, adopt, to, uh, which enable uh, a massive adoption of, of financial inclusion without the, without the legacy systems. And finally, uh, blockchain-based can work with almost any type of transactions, of course. So it, it can accept, uh, like for example, um, it can work, including, of course, including money, you can, you can uh, in include the money, uh, data, maybe also goods and services. So, the, so it, this will help to create or enable true exchange of value. So, so uh, one, one person, one person with a big idea can change the world if he gets people to believe in him. That's why we are all here, right? And that's the point of this conference. But there are millions of people around the world with big ideas and no way of making them a reality. Ten years ago, I was excluded. And as far away from realizing my ambition as if it's, as if it's possible to be, now I am included. I have gained access to financial services I need. And, I'm, and I am about to launch BAP with the aim of making sure no one else has to give up in their big ideas or, de or dreams because of financial exclusion. 
So, so imagine, imagine how many people around the world at the moment are in the same position as I was in 10 years ago. If they get access to the services they need, banking, insurance, credits, imagine what they could do. People have the power to change the world, but we must give them the tools they need. People have the power to change the world, but we must give them the tools they need to succeed. That's why financial inclusion matters. Matters to me, to you, to everyone. And I believe the solution is harnessing the blockchain technology to connect people, money, and ideas. Thank you.